Sounds good at home, that clapping, doesn't it? But there's just one man doing it there on his own. <laughs> I'd like to share with you... Hello, welcome to Family Catchphrase. I want to share with you some, um, some of my wisdom, things I've learnt. I have learnt that if you drive on the wrong side of the road, people open their eyes wider than ever. <laughs> I can wait. <laughs> and I've learnt the more intelligent you are, I've learnt the more intelligent you are, the easier it is for you to be distracted by... What was that? <laughs> Let's meet the contestants. Hiya. Welcome to the show. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Gloria, tell me all about Gavin. Gavin is 15 years of age. He's my son. He goes to Minster College and the Isle of Sheppey. He's a very generous young man. No, give he us a fiver. He <laughs> likes baking. Baking? Yes, he makes a wonderful sponge and lovely shoe paste. So what, he's just generous with his baking, is he? And money. And money. <laughs> right, okay. So I should tap him now for a loan. Yeah, tap him for a few bob. <laughs> Tell me about your mum then. This is my mum, Gloria. Um, she's 148 years old. <laughs> and that's being kind. Oh, it's, he is generous, isn't he? Yes, You're right. Very. Yeah. <laughs> she's a reflexologist for a living. You're a reflexologist. Yes, Boo! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your reflexes. <laughs> and she studies graphology, so if ever she does your handwriting, I'll redirect it to the police. <laughs> Nice, isn't it? Nice. I should well, off now. No, listen, actually, Gloria, I've, what I've done is that I've, I've, I was told this, so I've, been, I've asked one of the crew members, I've asked someone <laughs> in this building to write down, Mary had a little lamb on a bit of paper here, you see. I've written it down. So if you want to, um, I've got one to do it. So if you want to just have a little look and tell me what, uh, will it take long or can you do it instantly? Well, you can do a bit of it instantly. Okay, go on then. <laughs> well, this person likes, um, they like to challenge, yes. they, they like to do things, yes. uh, they're quite sexy, <laughs> uh, quite a big sex drive. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> they also like to uh, look after people. Yes. Because they find that uh, they have to be protective, you know, they like an umbrella, they like to protect their own. Right. So okay. who is it? It's me. Oh! Well. <laughs> and Gloria and Gavin. I'll take that now. <laughs> Hello, Susan. How are you? How are you? Susan, tell me about Ben. Uh, Ben's 14. He goes to a Cranbrook Grammar School. He's a very keen guitarist and uh, keep fit person. He does Taekwondo and uh, plays rugby. And uh, his party trick is playing the guitar with his teeth. <laughs> Why is that funny? That's well, funny. Would you take him out or would you do it with him? <laughs> <laughs> I just play uh, Hendrix normally. Yeah, Hendrix. So tell me about your mum then. That's my mum, Susan. Uh, she likes to sing and dance in pantomimes. Uh, she's a keen tennis player. Is, is there a slight, can, is there a slight, where are you from? Is there a slight sort of accent with the Canada. Two? Canada, okay, so I'll carry on. Um. You could have said, you could have said, this is my son, we're from Canada, that's interesting, isn't it, you see? We're from Canada, that's interesting. You You're the first person to mention it. What, ever in your whole life? <laughs> <laughs> or just today? Just today. Okay, right, carry on then. Pantomimes? Uh, she's a nanny for a living. Right. Um, uh, my father, her husband, is going to be a priest. And uh, she opens bo um, beer bottles with her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and you stayed back till last. Your mother, hold on, your father's about to become a priest, yeah. and your mother opens beer bottles with the teeth. Yeah. That'll be a wow at church social, <laughs> right? <today. laughs> must be, must be um, great in your family. She goes, stop playing the guitar, pass me the teeth, I want to open a bottle of beer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our contestants. <laughs> Well, this is true. My mother-in-law, my mother-in-law writes books on knickers and her husband's a vicar. <laughs> it's a limerick writer's dream. It's true, that. OK. Just thought I'd tell you that bit of uh, O'Connor news. Now then, are you excited about, are you excited about this? Yes. You should be because you can win yourself this. A stunning hot air balloon ride and a brace of his and hers racy mountain bikes. Oh! -ho. <laughs> See, that'd be good for you. The vicar and his wife on a bike. Perfect. Now, we show you catchphrases, you guess what they are, it's simpler. However, first of all, we've got to find out how much each of those catchphrases were. So, Gloria and Gavin, 
hit the number chase button because you won the toss. Hold on. Fifteen. Very good. Well, it's not really easy, actually. It's not very hard, <laughs> is it? But I get excited sometimes. OK, we'll show the catchphrase. Don't forget, you cannot buzz in until you hear this noise. And if you hear this noise, it means it's time to get out of bed. <laughs> Do you ever get the impression that you're doing jokes to no one? <laughs> Here's the first catchphrase. Wait for the bell. Susan and Ben. Crying over spilt milk. He's absolutely right. Crying over spilt milk. <laughs> and you jump into a 15 lead. It's very exciting. And you get the first cut, the bonus. The bonus is worth 50. All right, worth 50. So uh, behind those nine squares is the bonus catchphrase. Hit your knob thing and take one of the squares away. <laughs> Middle right. Take it away, please. Five seconds. What is it? Mm, puffy clouds. Puffy clouds. I like that. Ben, you can talk, can't you? <laughs> yeah. If you want to join in, just feel free. You know, if you want to join us at any point, we'd like it, because your accents are very good. It's nice, you see. Adds a bit of colour to the show, doesn't it? Yeah. Talking to myself. Here's a catchphrase. <laughs> Susan's got it. Dress circle. It is dress circle. <laughs> Gloria, Gavin, what's happening? What's going wrong? What is it? <laughs> what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you, you just come to be on telly, have you? Just come <laughs> to stand there. Just, just to look see good. you. Just to see me. That would do it. <laughs> All right, Susan and Ben, get got the bonus here. You want the middle square if you can get it? <laughs> no, middle top. That could help you. Take it away. Five seconds. What is it? Um, I will always understand you. Well, it's nice to hear it. <laughs> but it's got nothing to do with this catchphrase. But thank you for joining in. Now, Gloria, I'd like to hear from you this time. <laughs> OK, now you're just looking colourful. You've got to get this right. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Susan and Ben. Mark my words. Of course it is. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Susan on Catchphrase. <laughs> yes, it's just me and Susan every week for the next 15 years. <laughs> Playing Catchphrase, something to look forward to, I think you'll find. Take away a square then, Susan. Top right. Let's move that. Five seconds. What is it? I will never understand the young people of today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you come on the show to give us all a lecture. You're just <laughs> waffling old woman about nothing. No, very good. Here comes another one. And Gavin. Down on the farm. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first English contestants I've ever seen clap themselves. <laughs> That's okay, because you're all excited. Good. You're getting got the bonus now, fellas. It's uh, worth 35. Now, it's got nothing to do with youngsters of today and not understanding them and waffling on. It's to do with a sort of a well known catchphrase. So, take away a square. <laughs> Middle left. Remove it, please. Five seconds. What is it? Don't understand old people. <laughs> Something. Listen, have you seen the audience? Here's another catchphrase. <laughs> Susan and Ben. More than meets the eye? Yeah. We called it family catchphrase so we can get some younger people on, Gavin and Ben, who so far haven't said anything during the whole time. I want you to just pull your socks up here. You get another got the bonus, which is worth 30 now, Susan. Try and keep your answer under 100 words if possible. <laughs> Bottom left, get rid of it. Five seconds, what is it, Susan and Ben? Old Flame. He's right. <laughs> So, you see, Ben doesn't say a lot, but when he does, it counts. <laughs> Has that been true his whole life, Susan? Yes. 
He's going to be a barrister, he says, when he grows up, so I think it's a, a good trait. So you, can pay off your, so you can pay off your overdraft that you're going to have <laughs> with your husband when he's a vicar. <laughs> All right, 90 plays, 15, you're in the lead. It gets good now because we're going to play solo shoot. So, Gavin, you're under pressure to get a catchphrase now, mate. You're going to play on your own against Ben. And first of all, Ben, hit the number chase button and find out how much his catchphrase is worth, please. A <laughs> hundred. <laughs> the maximum. This game is almost too exciting for words now. <laughs> don't laugh, Gavin. I'm being serious. How dare you? <laughs> Gavin, you're the only person who hasn't got a catchphrase so far. I don't want you to feel under any pressure. <laughs> but all your friends are watching. <laughs> and if you, don't get, if you don't get one the whole show, they'll keep fast-forwarding to your bits where you fail to get one. It'll be really <laughs> embarrassing. OK, guys, here's your first solo shoot catchphrase. You're on your own. Wait for the bell. Sleepwalking. Yes! <laughs> and Gavin, you've got in the lead. <laughs> Way! <laughs> I think he's taking the mickey now, do you? <laughs> I think he's taking the mickey. You get a, a brand new bonus. The new bonus is worth a hundred now, Gavin. So take away one of the screens. <laughs> Way! Bottom left. Remove it, please. Five seconds. What is it? The box. What? The box. The box? Yeah. Now you're back to your old form now, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> OK, over to Gloria and Susan. Here comes your catchphrase. <laughs> Susan, you didn't wait for the bell. Over to Gloria. What is it? Pound of flesh. It is pound of flesh. Well done. <laughs> Further in the lead. <laughs> 215 plays 90. <laughs> Oh, I bet you could kick yourself, couldn't you, Susan? Oh, dear me. All right, you've got the bonus now, uh, Gloria. So take away a square for me. It's worth 90 now. <coughs> Top left, remove it, please. It's gone. Five seconds, what is it? Life at the top? No. It only comes once a year, so we're giving you extra. The challenge, Triple Xmas. It will be explosive. Exciting! It's the right answer. I owe you 12 pounds! And extreme. Yes, he done it! Triple Xmas starts Christmas Eve. Exclusive to Challenge. If you give blood, it's more than likely you're closer to the person who's receiving it than you think. There's a theory called the Six Degrees of Separation. This states you could be connected to anyone else on the planet through a chain of no more than five other people. You never know whose life you might save. Do something amazing. Give blood. In most homes, lighting accounts for up to 15% of the electricity bill. Save energy, money and the environment. Call 0800 512 012. Three girls remain. I want it so bad. I am America's Next Top Model. There's no doubt about it. I'm not a failure. I don't give up. Each with one last chance to impress. Listen, Kato. This is the toughest one we've ever had. Oh, this is horrible. It's so hard. But in the final episode of season six... It's been a long journey. There can only be one winner. America's Next Top Model. If the finale of America's Next Top Model, Monday at 9 on Living TV. Hello, welcome back 
of the show. At the moment, Gloria and Gavin are steaming away, and it's a surprise, because at the start they were completely hopeless. OK, Gavin and Ben, you're on the solo shoot round. Get all of the knob things, because you're in charge of it. You know helping from the grown-ups or the oldies. Here comes your solo catchphrase. Wait for the bell. I say wait for the bell, and so Gavin doesn't <laughs> wait for the bell. <laughs> Very good work, Gavin. Straight over to Ben. What is it? Chain reaction. Of course it is. <laughs> Did you know it as well? Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to. I'd like to have a look at your handwriting. It's <laughs> impulsive. Oh, is I shouldn't it bother. No, really. Well, what's it like, Maria? <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, is it? Oh, oh. oh, don't tell me right. Okay. Okay. So you get got the bonus now, which would put you in the lead if you could get it, Ben. Put it under some pressure here. Okay. Middle bottom you've taken away. Let's remove it, please. Five seconds. What is it? Um, light toys. <laughs> no. But, you see, because there was a light there and it was toys, so it was an intelligent guess, just happened to be wrong. OK, Gloria, Susan, here's your catchphrase. <laughs> Gloria, if you get this, it'll be a miracle. Everyone's going to the moon. That's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard the expression, everyone's got the moon in my life. Have you? Neither no. have I. <laughs> it was a song, was it? Yeah. All right, I'm too young for all that. And me. <laughs> Sorry, Gloria, and, and you. And me. Yeah, but you still got it right, well done. <laughs> you get got the bonus now, though, so it's worth seven. Take away a square. <laughs> this could be the one, this could make the whole thing simple. What is it? Teddy's light box. Teddy's light box. <laughs> I just check. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin and Ben, take over the thing. Here you go, here's your catchphrase. <laughs> Where is Mr Chips? Ben? In the middle of nowhere. He's absolutely right. Good man. OK, two lines to play 3.15. We've got a game on our hands again. The bonus is quite a hard bonus, Ben. It's worth 60 now, if you can get it away. Take the middle one away. Get the middle one. <laughs> That'll help. What is it? Um... Light bear toy. <laughs> light bear toy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Put those well-known words to make a phrase or saying. All right, back to Gloria and Susan. Here comes your catchphrase. <laughs> Susan! Cat on a hot tin roof. You got it. And you're going in the you in the lead. Say cat again. Cat. I like cat in the hat and roof. Cat it's good, wasn't it? Cat in the hat and roof. Three ninety plates, three fifteen. The bonus is worth fifty. You're back in the lead, Susan and Ben. <laughs> the middle square. Will this give it away? Five seconds. What is it? <sighs> Teddy's got an idea. <laughs> Teddy's got an idea, which is more than we have. <laughs> I like it. I like it on your face because you sort of you sort of pull these faces when you're thinking. Even though Ben's <laughs> whispering in your ear, I don't think I didn't see that Ben. Huh? And it was wrong. Okay, Gloria. I oh, know it's uh, Gavin and Ben now, isn't it? And Susan, no whispering in your son's ear. Here comes the catchphrase. What is it? What is that word? And where is it? Gavin. Mine's the ocean. Yeah, because it's near the ocean, isn't it, Gary? No. <laughs> ben? Mind in America. No, state of mind. Oh. State of mind, you see. Clever one. OK, back to Gloria and back to Susan. Here comes your catchphrase. <laughs> Susan got there first. Desert orchid. You're right, you're further than the lead. <laughs> 490 plays 315. The bonus is worth 40 if you can get it now. It is difficult, but you're sort of in the general right area. Take away a square. <laughs> Middle right. It's really all there for you. There's not a lot more help you can get. Five seconds. What is it? No, you see, and you didn't say anything daft because Ben didn't whisper anything in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gavin, Ben, here's your catchphrase.
Ben. Uh, tap on your shoulder. I thought you were say tap on the chin. Tap on the shoulders, <laughs> right, well done. <laughs> We're even further in the lead. Will we ever find out what this bonus is? Do we care? Take away a square for me. All right. Bottom right has gone. Five seconds. What is the bonus? Ideas of toys. <laughs> no. It's, you're very close, but the words are kind of in the wrong, um, wrong, wrong order. OK, Gloria. OK, Susan. Here comes your catchphrase to get hold of the bonus. <laughs> Body and soul. It is body and soul. <laughs> the bonus is worth 20, Susan. Can you get this bonus? Take away the very last square. <laughs> Five seconds. What is it? Toys and ideas. No. Oh. It was toying with an idea. Oh. You see? Toy with an idea, toying with an idea. We have to go with that 20 there, so we're going to show you a catchphrase. You can buzz in whenever you like. There's no bell, OK? So buzz in. At any point, here comes the catchphrase. Now, this is open for all of you. <laughs> Gavin! Banana split. Good man, you're right. <laughs> Three, three, five, plays six, ninety. But now it's time for Fast and Furious. Now, Susan and Ben, you're in the lead, so I want you to hit the number chase button for me, please. Get a nice high number so it gets really exciting. 140, very good. Now then, every catchphrase is worth 140. There is no bell. You can buzz in as soon as you want. You already talked to all of you. Here's your first Fast and Furious catchphrase. <laughs> Gavin. Beyond recognition. He's absolutely right. 475, you're coming back, Gavin. The bonus is worth 200. Take away a square for me on the bonus. Bottom left, take it away, please. Five seconds, what is it? Hanging on a loose chain? No, it's not right, it's close, though. OK, here's your next Fast and Furious catchphrase. <laughs> Susan and Ben. Piped music. He's absolutely right. 8.30 plays 4.75, the bonus is now worth 1.85. Take away a square, please, for me, Susan and Ben. <coughs> Middle bottom, take it away. Five seconds. What is it? I don't know. You don't know? All right, here's it. That's the time-up buzzer. We have to give away the 170. We're going to reveal to you our bonus catchphrase bit by bit. You can buzz in as soon as you want and as often as you want. Here it comes now. Susan and Ben. Mother of Pearl. You've done it. <laughs> you've done it and you've also won the game. Well done, Susan and Ben. Clear and Gavin, you've got 475, they've got 1,000. But listen, thank you for that graphology reading. That was very nice, thank <laughs> Anytime. you. Anytime. You take away, you got away your family catchphrase polo shirts. You've also got Helican's book of phrase and fables. You've been great contestants. Susan and Ben with 1,000, come and play Super Catchphrase. <laughs> well done. Excellent. <laughs> OK, Mrs Vickers' wife coming up shortly. You know what you've got to do? We've got 25 squares between A and Y. Behind each of those is a catchphrase that you have got to solve. You can go through the squares, as you're being shown now. you win yourself this. Enjoy the freedom of the skies. Free float where the gentle breezes take you with an uplifting thrill of a lifetime in a hot air balloon ride from Balloon World. Plus, a brace of racy his and hers mountain bikes, both with indexed gears and delivered to your door by Bike City. Very good. But if you can go through the M square, the M square is the most difficult catchphrase on the board. If you can go through the M square as you're being shown now, you win tonight's mystery prize. But I can't tell you what it is, otherwise it won't be a mystery. <laughs> you're going to go for that one. You're going to go for the M square. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. All right. You've got 60 seconds to do it in. If you get stuck, say pass. That's terribly important. All right. Okay. Are you both ready? Yeah. All right. I wish you both a luck. Both a lot of luck. Your time starts now. M. Knife in the back. Not knife in the back, but... Stab, stab in, the in the back. Yes. C. Long John Silver. Yes. H. Hot Lips. 
Uh, model, uh, motor lips. Not motor lips, but... Motor breath. Pass. Oh. R. Knight in shining armour. White knight. Um, what does that balloon mean? He's speaking. Oh. Speechless. Oh. Spe uh, white knights. Uh, like speechless, but... Um, silent knight. Yes! R. You've done R. Sorry, W. Jack of all trades. Yes. H. You need the H for the big prize. Motor mouth. Motor mouth. Yes. <laughs> this man here, right? He's as cool. He's as cool as a cucumber. He just goes, matter man. <laughs> That's it. You want yourself this? You've won a fantastic Nikam Stereo Color TV. 10 watts of music power, on-screen instructions, fast text and remote control. Together with an Amiga CD32, an awesome games console complete with brilliant games like Ocean Sleepwalker and Millennium's RoboCard. This amazing machine also plays audio CDs and CD movies. Good prize, huh? Well, you've been great contestants. We'll see you soon for some more family catchphrase. Bye-bye.